Okay, I'm on GIMP. <clears throat> Last week I was using Photo Joiner, an editor for collage making. And I just wondered if you could do it on GIMP, how easy it would be. So let's have a look. Collages could be good for images, text on, or what have you. So, file, um, let's go to new. Um, I won't change that, I'll just OK it and see the size. So here we have, there's some colors I used previously, so let's see if I can change the color. Um, okay, so it's changed the background color, it hasn't actually changed it there at the moment. So maybe I'd have to, um, Select something like bucket fill, click on. Oh, it's put the foreground color on, not the, the, um, the background color. Tools, selection, paint tools, bucket fill. Do that then. <laughs> keeps giving me the foreground. Well, I'll change that color as well then. Okay. Right, that's done it. Foreground, background. Well, anyway. <clears throat> so I'm going to make a collage on top of this. And so what I'm going to do is open up as layers. So file. I'm going to go to open as layers, not just open, but open as layers. So I'm going to get the first one, open as layers. Let's have a look down here. Ooh, I can't see which is which. It'd be helpful if I could see a preview. I can't at the moment. It should be sort of a guesswork. Let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. Right. So, tools, transform, I want move. So let's say moves here. Then I might want to change the dimension. So layer and scale layer. So not the background, but the layer. So I'm going to make this all bigger. That's joint there, that's chained. So if you move one, the other one's going to move, which is what I want at the moment. And I'll put that in. So like on Photo Joiner, I'm going to put one to the side, another one to another side, so on, so on like that. I just think Photo Joiner could have been better because it had no sort of background colour. Here, I'm having a blue in between. I think it looks like better. So, let's go to File again, Open as Layers. You know, got a good one randomly, really. I don't know why the preview's not working, because it would be helpful, but um, let's have a look. Mm -mm. Sort of a surreal one. Let's put that there. Layer. Um, what did I want? Scale layer. I'm going to change the width on this. I'm going to open that. The height just slightly different. But I want to change the width a lot. Now I'm going to scale. Hmm. Warped it a bit. Let's um, change the shape again. Scale layer. Make the height bigger. Wrong, wrong image really for this, but um, let's put it there then. 
going to have three on it and my four. So let's get another layer, open as layers. Um, I'm just randomly clicking, really. The other tool is still on, so this is sort of handy. Layer, scale layer. Actually, I'm going to join them again because I want to change both dimensions. That's not too bad. Hmm. <clears throat> um, what was it? Open as layers. Convert on that one. Well, it's too late. I got it. Now that one. Might have been better, so that's a good one. That's a good one. Let's see if I can get rid of this image. Probably need one of the panels here. Um, probably that one. Yeah. So these are the different layers here now on the right. That one. This, that means unseen, I think. That's visible. Or invisible, but I just want to get rid of it and put that in. <laughs> Let's see if I can right click on there and delete, delete layer. Yeah, there we go. That's gone. Okay. Because this is a very good one for width. So let's go to layer, scale layer, and open that chain, do the width, and oh, fuck it, wrong one. Wait a that layer, so I can click on that layer, right, <laughs> and why, why is that, hmm, problem, I will undo scale layer, quicker way of undoing something, Maybe it's because that's lined still. Hmm. Right, I've clicked on there. Now the lines around this, so I suppose what I do will apply to this. A different way of doing it. I brought this panel up, so um, kind of different. Anyway, let's so let's scale that layer. Do the width now. Ah, uh, they're going. They're both going. I wanted the height about the same. Right, um, um, blast. Let's try again. Scale layer. Undo that. Yep. 
Yeah, it worked. It's very slightly. Okay, it's, it's building up kind of nice. <coughs> nice collage. And that leaves a nice little space here. Let's get some text. I'm writing anything in now, Fallon. I'm gonna start again. But if you delete all the way, you'll have to change the settings again, which I knew there. Pixel size, I'm gonna change. Change the color back to black. Um, okay. Um, how do I change the typography? I won't bother at the moment. Now we have a very basic collage, but it shows you a way of doing it. Photo joiner was good, but I think I could do much better stuff with GIMP. So let's, um, so how do you save that? Save as, you would say, save in the, GIMP's file format, so you need to export, you need to export as to exit port it away from the editor, which is probably going to be ping, and there it is. So I'm going to put in there collage2, that'll be the title, dot ping, and export, because you're exporting out of the editor, and then it'll be saving onto your computer. There the um, resolutions, and export, I'm okay with them. That's where you can minimize the file format. <clears throat> right. Does it say it's an export? Oh, there it is. Down the bottom, there's like a bar there, like a saving bar. I done. So that's how to make a collage 